But we start you off with a guy, no surprise to do well here in Phoenix, Jordan Spieth, who's had a number of high finishes here. A long one lands at 11. Yeah, hard to believe him making a long putt. Just <laughs> kidding. He started at 10, so he was just getting 138 yards. Yeah, he started on the 10th hole. Hole location tucked on that left side over the bunker. No problem, though, for Shane Lowry. And he was just getting started. We mentioned he made a slew of birdies. Mike Trey does live in Washington, but that's a bold strategy. Max Homa for birdie. Yeah. They're pouring him in at the 11th. It's supposed to be Gentlemen, a hard hole. We might be. We might be getting weird today if this is how we're going to start. <laughs> this is incredible <laughs> to see these three guys all outside 20 feet, pour them in at the 11th, smiles all around. Up at the fourth, Joel Damon. Oh, yeah. That's an early polar plunge in Scottsdale. How about this? Grayson oh. Sick. That is a par save, an elite par save for Grayson Sick. That's got to feel better than a birdie, honestly, from where he was. Luke Donald. Yeah, left pin location tucked all the way over in the far left portion, trying to work something into this pin location. That is an absolute beauty. 11, filling it up from 28 feet. Yeah, he's out there quite a ways. He struggled with his putter a little bit in 2023, but it looks like he's figured it out. Another one lands for the Irishman, and then back to Jordan Spieth. Oh, fantastic there, Colin. Yeah, using the, the tilt, the shoulder of that bucket. There's WM Trucks marking where you tee off from. Yeah, you can see him way over in the far right of the tee box. He's trying to fade something into this pin location. And we just talked about it, the closest of the day there. That might be the closest of the day. Eye on him this week. Almost won the tournament here two years ago. Oh. You can see why. Aaron Baddeley, two groups later, the crowd roared again thanks to this. Well, he lives right down the street here as well from Australia. Watch this shot. Almost goes in. An ace would have lit this place. I guess. This par five once again, Ricky Fowler with his third. Let's see if Ricky can get this thing on the right level. Why can't he? Beauty. Oh. S.H. Kim get into the act here with his second at the 13th, 229 yards. That whole location in a little bit of a ball. And check out the break he gets here. Goes all the way almost onto the fringe, and now watch what it does. Bringing it back with a great opportunity to pay it off with an eagle for S.H. Kim. Things can change quickly. At four, Denny McCarthy trying to whip this in. Oh, huge bounce. Great shot there. Making the turn here with his third at the 18th. He made a mistake from the fairway, but not from the bunker, doing Jordan speed things. So that's how he made the turn with those bounce back birdies after the bogeys, as you mentioned, Kurt, at 15 and 16. Maybe. with a birdie attempt at the same hole. Well, it's cold, it was wet out there. Shane Lowry, though, had the feel on the greens. At from 37 feet, phenomenal front nine. Doug Smith out on the ground as we check in with Shane Lowry with his second shot. Well, Lowry, the leader, and wow, I guess I could see why. I don't think he hit that as cleanly as he wanted to. There's a very little divot, maybe half a groove thin. Thing of beauty. Well, you practice it for long enough, you practice it hot enough. This was Fitzpatrick for birdie at the 18th. He hit a huge drive, had a, just a little sand wedge in there. 
He was bouncing back after a bogey. Oh, yeah. He has the best birdie or better conversion percentage. Let's go to the fourth now, another par three, and Callum Tarrant. Yeah, playing 180, wind down off the right. These guys are just going to be clicking sticks today at the fourth. Beauty there from Callum. Just needs a little bit more go go juice. And he should have enough if he's got the right line. Are you, I mean, he stayed in bounds by a foot. Yeah, way over on the far right hand side of the tee box. You know he's trying to fade something back against the wind, hold it up. That'll make a rough day feel a little bit better. If you hit a nice shot like that, how about Martin Laird here from long distance? Well, this was the longest putt of the day here so far on 16 over 36 feet. Figala back at it at the second hole. Second hole has been a brutally tough hole back into the wind today, but Figala says, you know what? I'll just go ahead and pitch it in from over there. And that really got him heated up on a brutally cold day. Playing behind Jordan, par three fifth, inside 100 yards. He's deadly with that stick. You know, it's just a, a great action. It's which he would convert and then would tag another birdie on at the 18th as he made the turn. SH camp. Now we go over to the fourth. Grayson Murray. Oh, has he? Has he? Oh, wow. Man. That's a big bonus there for Grayson to get back to even. But to get to six under, meanwhile, Fitzpatrick. Mm, this could be nice. Oh, yeah. Do you love that? More like in the 40s where the wind's out there. And then S.H. Kim going to work as he makes the turn. All of these players starting on the back nine. This was his second at the first. Yeah, it's playing downwind. A lot of sand wedges and wedges in there. He takes advantage of that. For player and caddy when it gets this rainy out here. Downwind, it's going to take a big bounce. Has been all day. Oh, right over the flag. What a sh this is over at the first, just getting started as the two-time champion of this event, Hideki Matsuyama. You can see the water gathered down there just near him. And how about that way to get it started? Wow. Talk about a guy who's thrived here. Charlie Hoffman, just his second hole of the day. And that's going to zip back to within Four feet for Hoffman. Adam Shanks second after a 314 yard drive. Yeah, it, it's been downwind all day. Guys have taken advantage of it. Even with that hole location back right. This hole is playing under par for the day. Oh, this is. And he's oh. making his fourth shot. I don't know what a play there by Ben. I was thinking about Ricky Fowler when we were showing earlier in 2019 when he won. There's something about these greens. We were watching Golf Central early. Brandel and Page were talking about how well he putts. These greens. Powerful player here. Want to hit this up in the air. Looks like it's a little right in the flag the way he's leaning. Oh, oh, what a <laughs> shot. A beauty there from Luke List, the two-time winner on the PGA Tour. Perfect spot to hole one. And again, you know, it was on tape, but you didn't know, and it was a great call on your part. Let's go to five. Kurt, what's going to happen here with S.H. Kim on five? <laughs> uh, good putt. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you got to love it. Yeah, they're going uh, in from everywhere. This was the third shot for Brendan Todd at the eighth. Well, well, well. <laughs> you, 
<laughs> you were just commenting, Kurt Byron, that you had a feeling that that might go in. Electing to chip this one easily could putt that big swing. See all that slope. He tried to land it. Oh, and he walked oh, it in. Oh, and Andrew <laughs> no made wonder. that one. Could have played that a oh bunch of different ways, but he landed on the flat, played the break. Taylor has this birdie at the long par three, 202 yards. A two here would be really good to get him to two under. He battled with Scheffler down the stretch last year. He ended up. Oh, that's a great oh, birdie man. at a tough par three. <laughs> battled him right to the end. Absolutely. Ended, ended up solo second. Taylor Montgomery's back there behind that bush. Second shot at 10 from 124 yards. That club. That was just earlier. Oh, yeah. And he went on to make a birdie after getting out of position big time. Hayden Buckley on the tee at 16 now. This is also on a good line. Yep. Finally, we're seeing a couple of good shots. I believe the best so far today. Hayden Buckley says, let's hear it for me. Coming here to the Scottsdale area to three. And here's one of those local guys, Wyndham Clark. Oh. oh, another good looking shot at that right side of the green where that flag stick is. Oh, <laughs> look at these two players. Scheffler and Clark putting on a Hideki Matsuyama watched the other two guys in this group knock it pretty close. They have eagle putts. Hideki's just off the green. He had hit a 367 yard drive. Yeah, yeah, Did he do it again? Come on! Twice in his first three holes. Hold it on the first from the fringe to the right. Four man playoff he got in on. There you go. Stop. Yeah. Too, John. Yeah. Right before the sun popped out, it was getting really dark, but uh, the cloud cover's kind of letting it give it a little reprieve. Okay, so he's made two from off the green, and he's one made. He's made one from way downtown. Hideki Matsuyama loves this place. Oh, look at this card. Yikes! Been a long, long day. Here's Cameron Young. Gorgeous. Look and swing there. Way up in the air. I'll come back. Ooh, gorgeous That'll result, too. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh. That close. At the third, that's Scott Stallings. And he makes one from off the green. How many is that today? Oh, after hitting the penalty area. That was for par. Hey, darkness finally shuts us down. And a reminder. As you look at Sahith Thigala with the lead with a 65, that is a good score. We'll see if anybody can creep up to him a little closer tomorrow when they resume the first round play, including Andrew Novak. Lowry in with a 67, S.H. Kim. Speed three under, good round for him. And anything in the 60s, really good stuff today on a difficult, trying, long first round of the WM Phoenix Open. Luke Donald in with a one under 70. Eric Cole continues to just plug along out here on the PGA Tour. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.